patient in her uh, 50s. She comes in to see me with um, severe uh, throbbing pain in um, her left side. Uh, the referral slip says uh, tooth number 18 has decay. Tooth number 19 ha tests cold sensitive. And uh, she comes in and uh, usually has my uh, uh, routine um, uh, workup. I um, go through medical history, dental history, and then I take a radiograph and uh, to see what I can see through the radiograph. As far as the radiograph, uh, here's her picture. Uh, this is uh, tooth number 18 with a large uh, restoration, which I detect uh, decay. Tooth number 19 has a crown and tests cold. And uh, also on the distal part of the uh, number 18, you can see some kind of a radio opacity where um, is uh, something that we need to uh, watch for and see what that is. So um, one term of the... Um, Opacity would be um, osteoma. Osteoma is uh, a very aggressive uh, cancer of uh, the bone that uh, happens in the maxilla and the sinus. Uh, the next one would be condensing osteitis, which is um, low-grade um, inflamm inflammation in the nerve that causes the bone to condense. And the next one is ossifying fibroma, where uh, it's also a um, uh, type of cancer. It's very aggressive. And the next one is benign cementoblastoma, where it's uh, more of a tumor-like um, growth in, um, uh, in the cementum. And uh, then the periapical cemental dysplasia, where we're usually on... Um, middle-aged uh, black female where it starts as a radiolucency and then it turns to become radiopaque. My diagnosis would be condensing osteitis. This is a um, picture of uh, a cementoblastoma where it's more of a growth sh uh, shape tumor like and uh, needs to uh, be extracted. This is a startup of a mental dysplasia where it's radiolucent and then uh, becomes radiopaque. And um, condensing osteitis is a bony reaction to a low-grade inflammatory stimulus resulting from a tooth with a necrotic pulp. And uh, so my um, diagnosis on that patient was a low-grade um, inflammation on number 18. Uh, when I had her bite down on um, uh, bite stick number 18 was the one that's causing her pain and uh, so we went ahead uh, confirmed it on the radiograph and on the clinical exams that number 18 was causing her problem and uh, when I had the uh, working lot x-ray and you have to be very careful with uh, how you um, locate the uh, apex here uh, best idea is to go ahead and use an apex uh, locator and then went ahead and finished the case uh, here. It worked out real good for her.